Good morning, YouTubers. Good afternoon. Good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to Granny's Vids again. Thank you to for, thank you for visiting my, my videos. Um, just to show you tonight um, what we're doing over the last few days. Uh, it's another um, HHO stove. I'll show that in a minute. But I want to talk about something else at the moment. Um, I've been researching about uh, um, hydrogen units getting frozen, and what I noticed was is glycerin. Is a brilliant. This is glycerin that you can buy at any uh, any um, pharmaceutical store um, so for, for sore throats, really. But it's just pure glycerin. Um, glycerin has um, some properties to it that, it, it, when added to water, it doesn't actually freeze up very easily. I did some tests in my freezer, eight minus eighteen degrees, with some egg, egg cups and um, with the water in each. And one of them had the glucose, uh, talk about the glycerin. Uh, it mixed in it, and um, yeah, and the water froze up a lot quicker than the um, glycerin did. In fact, the glycerin didn't hardly freeze up at all. Um, so that's that. I've added it to my unit here. Now, the other thing with, with glycerin is that um, it does have uh, eight um, atoms of hydrogen, three atoms of oxygen, three atoms of carbon uh, in it, which I, I know from, from, well, from chemistry school. Um, carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide can be formed when burnt with oxygen or an incomplete burn. I think carbon monoxide is what you get with when it joins one atom with one carbon atom or carbon dioxide is with two oxygen atoms and one carbon atom. So anyway, that's, that's concerning me at the moment if I'm getting those sort of fumes off, but I'm, I'm okay, I'm still here. So anyway, let's just show you this um, little stove. Uh, it's copper uh, tubing. Let's focus on this, which I've made with a pin, a hole here, sorry, there, there, four holes in all in all, you can hardly see them I don't think on this camera, uh, there's one just there and one there, um, with a pin and the tube itself is uh, was about 10 inches long, I bent it around and put both ends into a pipe fitting and secured it around with some um, uh, that putty stuff that goes hard has been quite good. This bit here I made a mistake, I made the hole too big so I'll just put a putty around there. Um, and it's about 3.18 millimetres uh, wide the tube is, or one eighth of an inch if you're American. Um, so the hydrogen units are running now. Uh, by the way with the glycerin, one thing I noticed well about it, is um, glycerin does not conduct electricity very well at all. So when I added it to my um, hydrogen generator I lost a lot of amperage that went down from what, 10 down to 5 instantaneously so I lost a lot of hydrogen production so I put some more KOH potassium hydroxide in my mix and um, it went back up again so yeah so I got some sort of antifreeze in there which is pretty safe I think uh, I'd like to have some input from you guys if you know a bit about, much about carbon and carbon dioxide carbon oxide etc in hydrogen units um, so yeah I'm currently running uh, DC amps of about 12 amps, uh, 1.31. That's my lights on. I'm on my my uh, lights on uh, this as well. So I turn my lights off. Uh, I'm running about just under an amp, which is obviously just under about under 240 watts of power for the hydrogen unit. Uh, let's turn the lights off, and we'll just light up the uh, the stove. Here I am. Flashback just then. Let the gas build up a bit for. And we'll just light it again. Get there in a minute. Oh dear. Okay. Okay, I managed to get a light in the end. <laughs> okay, a bit of water in my tube, that's why it's blocking it a bit. But those four little flames there, you can see the... Um, so I'm not producing that much gas at the moment. Um, so it's pretty small flames. But, if I just put my hand above it, there's a fair bit of heat there, above my hand there, I feel that. So I'm going to try and boil some water up. I've got a little bit in here. Place it on top. And we'll just see... Uh, if we can heat some water up with this thing. Let's have a little look underneath there. That's the little four little flames. So we'll see if I can get some uh, 
Allah bakar gel. Sıma. Onu bu şahres. Bak şimdi ne? Okay, it's been about uh, sort of three minutes now. I'm getting some uh, formation of steam coming up, and there's the uh, little flames. Now, if you're wondering why it's not melting the saucepan, I mean, I imagine it must be because the heat, or well, the water has taken the heat and it's dissipating the, the heat and not letting the saucepan melt. I was a bit concerned about that at one stage. But there's no melting, just obviously water forming beneath there, you see, because hydrogen's, oxygen's torn back to water again. It's uh, temperature wise, it's getting quite warm now. Just keep timing and see how long it takes to boil. Okay, it's now been about 21 minutes and a half. Um, currently uh, around 101.10 amps. And. So, nice one again. Um, after I've done my last little clip, I've put a cover over the water. It's getting quite hot in there. burning any holes through the bottom of the saucepan. I think it's about um, a litre and a half I've got coming out now. Yeah, so the glycerin is uh, is in there working well. I mean, it's um, I haven't had any cold weather yet, but uh, with the glycerin, if you can use it as a product to keep your hydrogen unit from freezing up. Um, don't use too much of it because too much of it will actually make it freeze up quicker. I think about 20% so in weight to volume of water um, will suffice enough to go to like minus 6. I'll, um, I'll tag a, a web page that tells you the, how much volume of glycerin you can use with water before it uh, stops working as an antifreeze. Okay, well it's been about half an hour nearly now. Um, I'm out of time already, so I'm going to uh, cease the experiment. But it's uh, got very hot water in there, not boiling point yet. Uh, my finger in there, it's damn hot in there. Obviously not 100 degrees. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd give you this uh, little experiment I've done. Boiling water with hydrogen. And that was done, uh, AC current, uh, 240 volts, uh, current of uh, 1.12 amps, DC current was uh, about 12 amps, that's uh, 12 volts. Thanks for tuning in again everybody, have a great day now. Uh, before I sign off, I just thought I'd show my torch as it is now. Um, quite a nice length of flame there. Decent amount of HHA products produced production there. See you later.